Yeah, what's good? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, no. what's the situation? Just out of curiosity, why did nobody mention this to me today? Mention what? The whole Met Ardu thing. Oh yeah, I did. You didn't. You remember when I, f you, you know, you know when we were outside Mandem Records, I said, "Do you know anything about this?" And you said, "How would I know? I wasn't awake last night." Do you remember? You, I mean, no, I, how would I know it was anything about this? Because you didn't actually tell me. Oh, I, I didn't I realize did. it would. Uh, it was this serious. See, I, I spoke to RJ this morning, right? Because I just wanted to know, like, what his side of the story was per se. Um, he said that SK played a big role in well, SK or Dean, one of the two. Something to do with like. <laughs> RJ uh, snitching on SK. Like 50k or something or the other, yeah. But I can't lie, it's a skunk take to think screwing over the gang that was putting you on for 100k is worth it. Well, no, no, no. The, I was under the impression it was a mutual agreement. Yeah, that's what I kind of took to. Was that like... No, well, I didn't know that it was a mutual agreement with Matt. I thought that, that SK and Dean slash James put RJ up to basically war with him till till Monday and the winner gets 100k this is what my information that I was aware of but we had a talk with Matt last night and come to find out that's I don't know if that is the case it is with them but we didn't know about it and Matt doesn't take it that way so I don't really know see that's the thing the boys um I think it's pretty bland the boys have been gaslighting you know like they, they've been trying to Stir in the pot. Stir in the pot, yeah. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, RJ's disrespected me in front of a lot of people, you know? So, yeah, yeah. ain't just gonna stand there. <laughs> so, I assume, well, I'm gonna make the assumption that, you know, this has gone way too far for you. Um, the whole SK Dean deal he had, I'll take it you didn't agree to that. You just felt, you know, disrespected um, and humiliated by what he done. And that's why you went back for him. Hmm. you got to understand that I don't expect to be disrespected by someone living in our turf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, bro, when I, I don't know if you know, I was roadman before I was anything to do with Mandem. And we got put on... By the same like situation you've been given you know yeah yeah and mm -hmm. it's like i would have never dreamed of stabbing any of the boys and that's before i even know them i'm telling you now the relationship me and you have jay is stronger why is my phone <laughs> ah. <laughs> Go on, no, good. sorry sorry about that um the the relationship yeah, yeah. me and, and bro, uh, I think that's the whole of the anyone, anyone, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Listen, I uh yeah, like I said, the, the relationship me and you have, Jay, is like a better relationship than I ever had with any of the boys when when I was Rodman. I wasn't close with any of the Mandan boys at all. I didn't know them like that. They woke up late and I woke up early. See, I'm not gonna lie. If I was here. If I was here last night, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, no, bro. Like, on my life, that wouldn't have happened. I understand um, what's happened has happened. I don't have an issue with that. I just want what's being made wrong to be made right. You know? And I want RJ to, to understand. To no, I get it. To sleep. He has gone to sleep, but, you know, what would you what would you want from this? So I want him to apologize and I want it to be sincere. I don't want him to apologize to apologize. I want him to understand what he's done. He can't do again. And I want my rings repaired. Does he still have them? No, I have them. Okay. Or I want the money for it at least. Because at the end of the day, the first time I shut him down, I took him grandma's and we agreed on terms. We agreed on the terms. We weren't going to rob each other and we weren't going to get you man involved. 10 minutes later the first opportunity he could he took my rings he literally robbed me he went against the times and that's exactly why i shot chris because if he's gonna break the times i'll break them too you know 100 percent. 
Because I'm not going to lie, um, like Denzel knew what I said and said it to from before, you know, like regarding if he disrespected Mum was like, hey, it's principle, it's principle, it's principle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not all that. And then at the end of the day, I want to see your man do well. It's, um, it's just that it can't really run, you know? Yeah, see, I spoke to, when I spoke to him about it earlier, um, you know, basically saying, you know, what you wanted, you wanted your apology, you know, what, what, what you felt he done was wrong. Um, he didn't agree. He, he said he didn't want to apologize. So <clears throat> when he wakes up, he's going to have the opportunity. And then if not, it's just going to be left into, you know, fate, really. Well, yeah, we, we obviously let him know. See what he's got to say, and uh, we can see what comes his way. I'm not gonna lie. After the chat I had with Denzel and Patar regarding fact, and <clears throat> you know anything regarding that, it was clear to I made it clear to him that I'm not taking the fall. You know, ne next time you take the piss with any of these lot, you're just gonna get a bullet, bit, a bullet put in your head. To be honest, yeah. And I couldn't have put any more blunt to him, so he he does understand that. Yeah. Well, I like, think we want is to ruin a relationship that we've built, you know, over disrespect. Because I don't think any of us have, like, wanted to personally disrespect you guys. Like, and I wanted to talk to you, by the way, Denzel, but that's a whole different conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when he's next awake, if he doesn't want to apologize, then, you know, you know the score. Yeah, bro, like I said yesterday, I ain't trying to get him booed from your gang or your group. Give him an opportunity. You know, the opportunities on the table. But that's where I stand at least. Tied, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I, um, I'll let you know how much it costs. You know, at the end of the day, you know I don't care about money. It's principal. It's saying five if you rings, would. Five, five jewelry pieces, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like 12K. -ish. Exactly. It's, it's pocket, like pocket money, bro. Pocket change. But it's, yeah. the, it's, it's the principle of... Uh, yeah. the whole situation. 100%. Yeah, no, if he doesn't want to apologize, if he, you know, if he wants to go down the other route, then us as a gang will just cover the repair costs for the five rings. I don't want you to do that. Uh, no, I don't want you. I want, I want the money from his bank account. I'm going to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like I said, it ain't about the money. It's about the principle. Nah, I get it, brother. Well, I appreciate you, man, coming down for a chat. Yeah, yeah. No worries, brother. Right. Yeah, yeah. In a bit, have a good one, boys. Stay I'll safe for now. In a bit, okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, bro. I, I like them boys. I like them boys. Like, they're good. They're good. They're good. They actually are good. I just realised something. Yeah. If he doesn't wake up till tomorrow, then the whole thing's over anyway. Bro, he's skunk to think I won't start shooting him past Monday. I don't know where people got this whole Monday thing from, bro. I'll keep shooting them until I get my point proven. I think the boy set the day Monday for like, um, for this whole 50k thing. You gotta understand, mm -hmm. I found out about this 50k thing through RJ. Not the boys. This, oh. this whole issue is over disrespect and not money. I don't know why money's been brought into it. I think money got brought into it as an incentive to the gaslight, you know? I mean, it sounds like... Yeah. It sounds like... Um... Yeah, it started off as maybe... Uh... I don't know. An incentive uh, for him to make some cash. But then the fact that he stabbed you in front of everybody was never going to go down well, was it? Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um... I don't know. I don't think he really knows his place. you got to understand, though. He's known me since uh, I was a nobody. You now before Don't I had a gang, he, yeah. before I had any backing, before I had any wealth, you know? 
Yeah, I get that. But the thing with RJ, I mean, RJ had a, had a few weeks of being a dickhead. I'm not going to lie. Like, even I couldn't stand. I think the conversation I had with him today, you know, he has shown that uh, <sighs> he has the ability to be... Um, Reasonable. All part of the master plan to get match rate, match rate you again. Know, nine k at a time, Lou. Nine k at a time. From what it sounds like to me, <laughs> is obviously he's got the consent of one of the boys, you know, to do this to you. So that's why he thought it was okay. I don't think it started out of any disrespect for you, but the problem is he's carried it on and it's become that, you know. Well, yeah, you. I like. For, uh, for example, when I pulled up to um, Jewel and Dragons to shoot Chris, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's his name? Sparky was on the phone and he, he said it was a 1v1 thing as I shot Chris in the head. So I don't think he even thought I was going to escalate it to the rest of the mob, you know? Yeah, I understand that, but... At the end of the day, you don't, you didn't he start this thing as a joke. Like, you, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you were stabbed. So I suppose that's from your perspective. That's what you're saying. <laughs>